Hello and welcome everyone. I am Amar, the founder of ForensicMCQ.com and in this video, I am going to show you how you can prepare for Forensic Science exam with our platform that is ForensicMCQ.com. Now, let's start with the tips that were shared by the Miss Anjali and Miss Anjali says, some of my friends cracked net just by solving PYQS. So I changed my mind to focus on previous year question papers and I trusted the app. I think those who have less time can trust this app and move on. And she was the one that has cleared the JRF in 2023. Moving to the another JRF holder that is Miss Amrutha and she also cleared the JRF in 2023 and both are the premium members of ForensicMCQ.com and she says the app was recommended by one of my friends who also cracked the UGC net JRF exam. I managed to solve at least 120 questions per day from this app. This helped me a lot in improving the main papers part. So Miss Amrutha also cleared the JRF in 2023. Now let's move to the next tip that was shared by the topper of 2021 that is the anti ogc net and also he was the JRF holder and he told that the previous year question paper since 2004 with detailed explanation is the USB of this website. I can safely say that there is no such resources for forensic science PYQS anywhere else. I used to take notes from explanation and read them during revision. Similarly, for CUET PG exam, there are two more individuals. First is the Kailash Mahadu and second is the Gulshar Ahmed and both have cleared the CUET PG exam just going through the category-wise MCQs that is available on ForensicMCQ.com. Moving to the next achievement that was shared by the Aditi Mishra. Uh, she has also cleared the FACT 2023 and also the state uh, entrance exam asset of 2023. And she is also the three times net holder. You can also read the interview by the Aditi Mishra on our website. Apart from this, there is one more story that is shared by the Shaista Shahid. She has cleared the FACT 2022 and the NTAGC net exam and also uh, enrolled in the PhD program and she has very inspiring journey. So I will suggest you to read at least once. Apart from that, you can also check the interview of Dr. Arif Shah, who successfully cleared and joined the narcotics department of FSL, Jammu and Kashmir. So in last two years, you can say that our platform has not only uh, helped the UGC net aspirants, but also the individuals uh, for clearing CUT PG exams, PEC or PEC plus, and even the government PSC exams, for example, scientific officers exams. So you can read all these interviews on Forensic MCQ Android app, or you can just visit uh, ForensicMCQ.com slash all of the fame. Now let's talk about our platform and we have 15K. So we have 15K plus MCQs. MCQs on forensic science and with explanation. And the main highlighter of our platform is the previous year solved NTOGC net and GRF papers. And if you are preparing for any PG entrance exams such as NFSU or BHU, even the DU. So in any entrance exam, there are most of the questions have the same degree of difficulties as UGC net exam. So if you are preparing for any COT PG exams, then I will suggest you to at least go through uh, previous year question papers of NTOGC net. And apart from that, I will suggest you to read two important books from Forensic MCQ. And first is the Richard Saperstein and second is the non -time. These two books are very important. And if you are a beginner, then I will suggest you to read R Richard Saperstein first, followed by the non -time. And if you know the basics of forensic science, then you should start with the non pi because it is a very vast book and it nearly covers all the topics that are in the Richard Saperstein. And as you know, and from my personal experience, I would say reading book is not enough for any exam. And uh, you must have to practice questions uh, related to the chapters that are given in the book. And this not only uh, increases your learning power, but also ace you in finding the correct answer during your examination. So for that, you can go through the handmade MCQs that are made by our team 
uh, from Richard Saperstein book. And similarly, our team has also made MCQs from one of the most important book of forensic science, that is the Nordbein, uh, which is titled as Forensic Science and Introduction to Scientific and Investigative Techniques. Apart from that, we have recently added one more book uh, in forensic biology and serology field, that is the by Richard Lee, that titled as Forensic Biology. And it is one of the best book that uh, for the individuals that are preparing for the fact exam, fact or fact plus, and also for the PSC exams, uh, such as for the scientific officer post in biology, serology, or in DNA analysis. Apart from this, we have a separate column for the interview with forensic scholars. Here you will got, get all the students that have willingly give their interview to us and share their result. After that, you will also get a category of NDVC net GRF, in which we have categorized the syllabus into 10 uh, different units that was given in the NDVC net syllabus. Moving to the next category, that is the general forensic and law MCQs, and it has 100 plus thousand to sorry, not 100, thousand plus MCQs, and the MCQs are divided into the uh, general forensics and law. Moving to the next category, that is the instrumentation MCQs. Moving to the next category, that is the forensic serology and DNA MCQs. Uh, after that, the next category is forensic toxicology MCQs, then forensic medicine MCQ, then forensic ballistic MCQ and then forensic chemistry MCQ. After that, we have categorized the trace evidence MCQs. And in this, uh, usually the evidence such as hair, soil, glass are covered or categorized in this section. And after that, the footwear or fingerprint impressions are categorized in this uh, section or category. And in forensic question document MCQ category, you will get all the MCQs from previous year and to AGC net and also from the books that we have made. After that, the next category is the mobile and digital forensic MCQ. And the last category uh, combines the section of the important topics and tables that are important for the examination perspective. Now, let's talk about what you need to do. So, the key in an exam is having the competitive edge. So, you have to find your competitive advantage. And learning with our platform surely gives you competitive advantage for getting to your uh, dream college or uh, to get the NetGRF certification or even the government job. Right. Here is the example of the question and in which you can see the answer is boxer, which is a type of percussion cap. And we and our team has explained all other options that is the boxer primer system and burden uh, primer system and short cell battery cup primers. So all these three types of primers are associated with the boxer. But in any book, you only find the answer, but not the explanation. But our team has also given you the explanation part along with the reference and the page number of the book. So in most of the competitive books, you only get the answers. And this is only the one question and we have more than 12K questions. And with 12K plus uh, MCQs, you will get ample knowledge to crack or to get ahead of your competition. So in competitive exam, so in any competitive exam, you don't have to score more. And the main aim is to beat the competition, is to beat the competition and get ahead of them. And if the paper is easy, then it will be easy for all. And similarly, if the paper will be hard, then it will be hard for all. So all you just have to do is to beat the rest of your competition and get ahead of them. And for that, you need a competitive advantage or you need a competitive edge. And this is our platform that gives you the competitive edge. After that, uh, I want to discuss one more concept that is, if let's say a person A that studies 12, hour, 12 hours and it, uh, a person B that only studies 3 to 4 hours, and person A able to uh, solve questions about 100 to 200, 200 questions per day or MCQs per day. But uh, let's say person B uh, get only, and let's say person B can only solve 20 to 30 questions, 20 to 30 questions per day. So here you can see that the person A is more focused in their exam and usually get to cover their syllabus more fast as compared to B. And what I have learned from my personal experience that it is not the days, 
it is not the days or how you are preparing for some might learn faster than others so you have to first understand yourself and let's say if you are a slow learner then you need to do some extra miles of hours or you need to do more hard work than other uh, person and as you know hard work always pay hard work always pays so even you adding extra hours to your study you are just raising the chance of clearing that exam so it is up to you how much hard work you are going to do uh, for your examination and as you know there is competition everywhere so one thing is clear that you have to do the hard work but when you do the hard work in a smart way in a smart way then these two makes a synergic effect and in forensic medicine synergic effect means when two medicines get combined then the effect become more version than their addition so the hard work and smart work makes a deadly combination so even you follow eat sleep read and repeat concept then i will suggest you to do it smartly you just have to improve each part of it uh, let's like say for example if you eat then you should focus on eat healthy similarly uh, for sleep sleep at least 6 to 7 hours that is 6 to 7 hours is most important and when you read you should focus more on learning uh, without distraction and try to save your time as much as possible do more revisions and try to follow pomodoro technique and in pomodoro technique you have block of times and each block of time has uh, separated by a small break so for let's say uh, first you have did for 30 minutes then 5 minute break then 30 minutes then 5 minute break and then 30 minutes then 5 minute break so one piece of advice is to be consistent of what you have planned and how you plan to achieve your goal moreover if you are a premium member you already know our platform give you that competitive advantage that you are looking for and work smartly uh, without wasting any time on searching or googling answers so don't think twice it's now or never so if you don't decide now and not start working today on your goal you might be at the same place same place uh, even after 6 or 12 months that are from now so if you are struggle more for this exam you might not need to do it again in your life at least not for the same is so i would say struggle now should be your behavior so focus more on struggle now because struggling now can reduce the pain uh, in future so again i will suggest you uh, to make struggle now as your habit or your behavior so why not give 100% to this attempt and change your life so it's up to you if you willing to give your 100% then and change your life then you should take steps for your studies lastly if you don't feel like you are studying just remember this uh, quote that is you have to do what is right for you not what makes you comfortable simply it says that you have to choose what is right for you over your comfortability so always choose what is right for you over your comfortability i know it is hard to choose what is right for you every time and i honestly say uh, it is very hard for me as uh, as you see that uh, i am not feeling well today but uh, i have to make this video today so that's why i am making this video so i have choose what is right for me that is stick to the schedule uh, similarly you have to choose what is right for you over your comfortability one more thing i have to admit that i am not that person that always follow the schedule or stick to the schedule but i try to follow what is right for me uh, most of the time and you just have to do the same so you just have to try to follow most of the time and as you try much or as you do the right things uh, to yourself then your confidence then your confidence level also increases so if you have watched till now just promise me and promise to yourself that uh, i will solve at least 50 mcqs daily 
So if you promised me or promise to yourself, just comment it down. Just comment it. That is, I will solve at least 50 MCQs daily to the day of the exam. And if you don't want to join uh, our premium platform and invest in your learning, it's fine. It's totally up to you. But I would suggest you to invest that money that uh, help you to achieve your goal. And you can also buy some books for your competitive exam. And also you can join other courses. So I just want to say that uh, you just have to invest on yourself as it is the best investment for you. Apart from that, you can download our Forensic MCQ app and it has 4.8 rating on Play Store and more than 1K plus downloads. That is going to reach 5K by the end of June month. So in case, as I already told you, even you get the books and study from anywhere or any coaching program, you can still download. You can still install or download our app on your Android store and practice 1000 plus MCQs with explanation which are free, uh, freely available on our platform. And after downloading your app, you just go to the app free content and here you will get the 1000 plus free MCQs that are exclusively available on the Forensic MCQ Android app. So I would say uh, first download our Forensic MCQ app. So first download it. After that, check our app free content and decide whether our platform is helpful for your preparation. And if the answer is yes, that means you have to find our platform helpful. Then in that case, you should know what you have to do. And let's say if you have purchased our subscription and find our subscription not helpful for your studies, then you just have to reach us and we will issue 100% refund within the three days. So I will guarantee you that you will get 100% refund of your amount that you had paid to us. So feel free to join Forensic MCQ Premium Platform and for more details, you can visit ForensicMCQ.com. With that, thank you for watching till now. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe our channel. And I think uh, this is the platform will definitely give you an advantage over others in clearing the GRF or any competitive exam. Thank you.